So an evolution is different than just a transformation. And when we're talking about an evolution, it's really changing the, the, the fabric of the organization, the DNA of the organization um, for the long run to be able to respond in an entirely different way to what the market forces customer demands are. So we look at uh, utilities, talk about the, the phrase is sort of digital transformation. And a lot of organizations, utilities now look at it sort of as an incremental step by step. So um, they obviously can't change you know, overnight. It's a, these are 100 year old businesses that, that need to often do incremental steps. But when we step back and look at it, when we say total digital, it's not just layering technology into an existing business on an existing business model and organizational structure. It's looking at it from the holistic perspective of leadership, organizational structure, culture, a cultural innovation, um, organizational agility. All of these things come into play as well um, to really get the value and to, to monetize the investments that are being made in, in digital. The industry talks very much about transformation. It's we need to change the way we're working. But again, they, it, it's very much often boxed into technology projects that have a start and a finish. And it's a, it's a byproduct of the, the budgeting model, the long range planning, stage gates, you know, being a regulated business and, and related to rate recovery. Those things drive those in that transformational thinking and to piece it up that way. But we think it's important to step back and really think about it as more an evolving organization. So it's not just a, over the next five years, we need to implement these new technologies to upgrade our systems, is we need to evolve to be a very different kind of organization. Um, and again, that speaks to innovation and uh, digital operating models, really modernizing the organizational structure. Um, and that involves all aspects of the organization, learning and development, HR, uh, heavily involved in shifting that um, uh, to really embed it and, and make it an evolution rather than just traditional transformational steps. So if you look at other organizations and some good examples of, of where they are on their digital journey and, and how they have taken what's, what's sort of a very basic or traditional um, business and digitized it, not just by layering in technology, but really blending it into how they operate. So two examples come to mind. So Domino's Pizza um, has over the last several years completely changed how they sell pizza. And it sounds like such a simple thing, but now as a c customer of Domino's, how you interact, how you order your pizza, how you, you can ask Alexa to order your pizza and your regular one, you're all, it, they've, they've really integrated these technologies to make it an entirely new customer experience where on the outside, you might step back and think, well, it's ordering pizza, you know, how, how do you digitize that? So it's really thinking about it differently. Starbucks is another example of walking in and ordering coffee, you know, just adding mobile delivery ordering so you can just walk up to the counter and your coffee's already made, it's already charged to your credit card or your Starbucks, you know, gift account or what have you. Those types of changes in investments aren't just trying to add digital to the business, it's changing the way the business interacts with a customer. So when you translate that into a utilities customer experience, the, their expectation is that the utility should be able to provide the same or a similar level of service. So for example, when their power goes out, they shouldn't have to pick up the, call, the phone and call the utility to ask when their power is coming back on. They should get a text message. And taking it a step further, you know, as they want to interact with the utility, um, finding out about their energy consumption or what their bill is going to be, they should be able to use Amazon Alexa or Google Home to just ask that question. You know, voice interaction is sort of what's coming next. And to do all of that and, and for the utility to deliver on that, um, they really need to change the way they think and change the way they operate internally to be able to pivot and move quickly to deliver those kind of services.